Good morning, friends. Paul Green here with ComediansCommute.com. Dot com, dot com, dot com. It is a Comedians Commute dot com. Comedians Commute. Comedians Commute. Comedians Commute dot com. It's Comedians. Comedians Commute. Comedians Commute. Comedians. Commute dot com. So I'm alone a lot. Which I actually like. I'm uh, actually really introverted, which surprises a lot of people because I'm a performer. But you can actually be a performer and be very introverted. Um, I'm also a bachelor, which means I hardly ever cook for myself and I eat out a ton. And kind of learned that the um, the restaurant community has this assumption that everybody coming to the restaurant is going to be having having a group like even if you just show up by yourself the first thing they ask you is how many in your party even if you're alone which for me um, is I don't know I probably shouldn't take it offensively but I do because I walk in by myself and then they're like how many in your party and then it's like I have to declare like I have no friends I am here alone and nobody wants to eat with like a like a like a Shakespearean drama. Alas, my loneliness does protrude my soul like the daggers of a thousand armies, and anon I shall eat the bread of the table without the companionship of love or friends, foe nor family. If thou shalt seatest me, seatest me in the booth of shame, where there I shall feast upon my loneliness alone, as the sun sets on my joy, and the dew of the grass does scorch upon the heat of the sun, it shall burn my skin like the daggers of my solitude. Um, probably shouldn't do that every time I go to a restaurant. I don't know, I probably shouldn't take it offensively, but it does happen every single time. And I just, it's just, why do they have to ask that? I walk in by myself and instead of just assuming that, oh, this guy just prefers to eat alone, it's like, oh... Um, his wife must be parking the car with all of the kids. That's the assumption. Oh, okay. Um, all of his myriad of friends just sent him forward to be the restaurant scout. He's going to go, uh, he's going to go put his name down. He's going to get that table for eight for that, for that huge party. He's probably, he probably does that every week. He's probably has a huge party with just tons of friends Tons of friends are going to show up here at any second. Yeah. Most of the people who come to our restaurant, they think, have friends and people who want to hang out with them. So why would this guy be any different? But I guess that's probably less offensive than um, if they didn't assume I had anybody. If, like, everyone else who walks in, they're like, oh, how many in your party? How many in your party? And then I show up and they're like, we have a table for one right here, sir. You're like, you're not going to ask me if I have anybody meeting me here? <laughs> no, we know you're alone. We can, we can tell by looking at you. It's pretty obvious you stay up most nights weeping of your loneliness. Like, Man, they can tell that? I try to put makeup over the bags of my eyes and the tear streaks. All right, it's not that bad. I don't actually put on the makeup. This is a true story, though, so I recognize that because that's like a regular thing. It's a regular thing that I, 
I go to a restaurant and I go alone and I walk in, I'm by myself, and then they always say, how many in your party? And I, I, it's just hard for me to like not draw attention to the fact that it happens every single time because I don't know, there's just something really kind of demeaning about having to be like, because the assumption, how many in your party, they just assume that. It is the assumption that there's no way that anybody would walk into a restaurant alone just to eat by themselves. How many your party? How many your party? And I have to like, now I have to explain myself every single time. It, 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 I hate it. I really do. I hate it. Just one, please. Just one. Just myself. No one else. No one else wanted to eat with me. Is that so wrong? Can I just come in and have a freaking bite to eat without everybody drawing attention to the fact that I am a single man, all right? I am a single man and I have no friends. Can we get past it? No, I'm not better. You were thinking, okay, he's calmed himself emotionally. I have not calmed myself emotionally. I'm still upset about it because I like to eat out. I am a bachelor. I hardly ever eat out with family. I don't date much. And I'm a bachelor who hates to cook. And so I'm going to go eat out a lot. And I don't want everybody assuming that the rest of the world has someone. See that? I turned on my turn signal with anger. Yeah. Mm. Taking out my frustrations on my turn signal. So it's not only restaurants. Not only restaurants. I'm not making this up. Like last Friday, I think it was, I went through a Taco Bell drive through a Taco Bell drive through and even the Taco Bell assumed I wasn't alone. First thing they said, hello, how are we doing tonight? How are we doing tonight? Nobody, nobody goes through the Taco Bell by themselves. The Taco Bell drive through is the common place where people congregate in their vehicles to go get really cheap, barely passable Mexican food. That's what's going on now. How are we doing tonight? How many combos would you like? Do we need to get uh, five, five, six combos? How many tacos? Eight, nine, ten tacos? Eight sodas? What are we doing? What are we doing? One taco! One soda! It's just me! I'm alone! Is that so wrong? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The school bus? Okay, there's a school bus. Oh, good. I beat the red. I beat the stop sign. You see that school bus right there? It was blinking yellow. I thought I was going to get in trouble for uh, running the stop sign, but I passed it. I actually drove school bus like 10 years ago. I was a school bus driver, and I drove the school bus alone with 30 kids. It's totally, totally a different feeling though. You actually, you feel very alone. You feel alone as a school bus driver. The more kids actually, the more alone you feel because um, you fear for your life and you're pretty sure that the kids of the day would have no problem just completely murdering you while you drive. But that's the story for another day, my friends, because I have pulled in to my work by myself in a car with nobody and no there's nobody else in my party it's just me give me some food ladies and gentlemen this has been comedianscommute.com paulgreencomedy.com i hope you have a marvelous day tuesday april what is it 29th I think it's Tuesday, no, Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It is a Wednesday. It is Wednesday, April 29th.
Okay. All right, then. Bye-bye now. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.